I've heard people talk about a place called purgatory. What is purgatory? Well, that's a very interesting question because purgatory is very peculiar to who we are as Christian people. But if you think about the word, in that word purgatory is the word purge. And you know, if we think about purging, that means to cleanse or to get rid of anything that's kind of in the way or is holding us back or perhaps keeping us from um, some level of perfection. You know, and, and we're reminded, be ye perfect as, as um, our God is perfect. And even though that'll probably never be accomplished in this lifetime, there are things that we do in life that perhaps we um, need to make some kind of payment for after the fact. And the best thing I can think of is, say you're a kid playing ball in somebody's yard, and the ball goes through the, the air and hits somebody's window and breaks it. Well, now what? The child has to first of all own up to the fact that they've broken the window. They have to um, apologize to the person whose window they broke. And their parents are probably going to make them do something to pay for, either physically pay for the broken glass uh, or perhaps a little punishment at home or something like it. But in order for them to get off the hook, if you will, they have to do something. Even though they've been forgiven, they've been shown mercy by the owner of the, the glass window that was broken, they still have a little bit of paying up to do. And that can come in lots of different ways. So that's the best way I can think to um, explain what purgatory is. When we die, uh, if we go to purgatory because we still have some things that need to be quote unquote paid for, if you will, or we need to make up for, we'll be delayed in that state of purgation or purging until we're, we've satisfied what it is that God asks of us in terms of our holiness to bring us into full union with him in, in heaven for all eternity. But at the same time, I think that purgatory um, reminds us that we for sure will one day be with God, unlike if we were told we were going to live without God in our life, which is hell. That would, um, that would be an assurance in purgatory that we're going to definitely one day be in that full experience of our God in heaven with all of those people that have gone before us, the um, communion of saints that we've spoken of, um, the deceased people who we love and let go and are still waiting to be freed up to enjoy the full presence of our God.